Hello everyone, this is Raymond. Today I want to explain why dentists need CO2 laser. There are two sentences to tell what CO2 laser is. CO2 laser it is used for the patient comfort as it cuts the tissue, it seals. Now, I have to compare conventional treatment and CO2 laser treatment. Conventional treatment needs injection, laser no injection. Conventional treatment bleeding, laser no bleeding. Conventional treatment no bactericidal effect at all, laser sterilized the pocket. Conventional treatment may need NCs. Laser, no post-op medicines. Conventional treatment to com combat discomfort. Laser, no post-op discomfort. Conventional treatment needs anesthesia. Laser, no anesthesia or minimize anesthesia. Conventional treatment, no sterility of the field laser sterilized the dentin. Conventional treatment saliva in, in the field affect bonding. Laser dries the field and better bonding. Conventional treatment blood with subgingival preps. Laser no blood, no contamination. Conventional treatment needs to each laser self itches. Conventional treatment takes time to be healed, laser shorter healing time. From this picture, you can see what difference in incision between biscalpel and laser. Scalpel touches nerve area below the blood vessel. That's why bleeds swollen after surgery and painful after surgery. However, CO2 laser touches lymphatic vessels right below the skin. Therefore, it prevents bleeding, no swollenness after surgery, and minimizes the pain after surgery. Let's see the penetration depth. CO2 laser, ER laser are called water absorption type laser. The penetration depth is very shallow, 0 0.02 to 0 0.5 millimeter. But diode and NDR laser is 2 millimeter, 10 times deeper than CO2 laser. Compare CO2 laser and conventional surgery. White layer is necrotic layer. White necrotic layer result in a pain and swelling. CO2 laser cuts deeper, but the necrotic layer is very thin. Mostly, CO2 laser pursue minimal intervention. Briefly, comparing with any other lasers such as diode, ERYAC, and NDYAC. As for diode laser, the difference between diode and CO2 is pretty big. Diode produces a beam of CCM light, but they do not emit a beam of CCM light. That's why we can say diode laser are the laser, but they are not used as a laser. They are simply hot glass tips. The temperature of a diode laser tip is 750 degree centigrade to 1500 degree centigrade, depending on the setting. Since diode laser has relatively low concentration on soft tissue, it causes extensive thermal damage zone of several millimeters. Soft tissue ablation incision excision by CO2 laser is far more efficient than diode laser. 
Diode laser are great at the coagulation but are poor at cutting. But short laser are really efficient both at cutting and coagulation of tissue. Many doctors are using diode laser due to cheap price when purchasing the machine. It is really cheap, but as you see this chart, Annual cost of disposal diode laser tips is really high. That's why diode is not cheap machine. Compare with EL Yag, the king of laser, because it can treat hard tissue and soft tissue. It is also called buster laser. EL laser can remove the contaminated soft tissue and bone. Ear laser can remove the contaminated hydroxyapatite coating on the implant fixture at the second stage. Ear laser is very good for this symptom. CO2 laser is not good for ferial implantitis second stage. It is good for ferial implant mucositis. ER laser is slow in incision and excision. It is very inefficient in coagulation. That's why it cannot be used on the soft tissue treatment like CO2 laser. CO2 lasers are 5 to 15 times more efficient than ER lasers. I have a video which shows the difference between CO2 laser and ER laser. I will attach it below the link. Let's compare with NDR laser. Any doctor wants to focus on the circus laser debridement, period treatment. The main reason of the period disease exists in circus contaminated pocket. The quartz fiber 200 micron goes into the circles easily and deliver the laser beam. NDR can remove the epithelium inside of the circles to expect the reattachment of the tissue to the bone that enhances the rising of the bone rays. However, NDR is not good at speed and efficiency in incision, excision, and coagulation, the same with ER laser. As you see, this chart, CO2 laser have a broad applicable treatment. For more detail, I will make another video explaining Yoshida CO2 laser applicable treatment list next time. Now, let me summarize why dentists have to choose CO2 laser. CO2 laser uh, efficient in incision and excision. Minimize discomfort, less post-operative pain, swelling. Minimize anesthesia and medicine. It is really safe, low energy, shallow penetration, extinction, laser beam depth, minimized necrotic tissues, less post-operative pain, swelling, scar, minimize contraction of the tissue, bloodless surgery, clear surgical site, efficient on various treatment, incision, excision, coagulation, healing acceleration, etc. Efficient on implant dentistry, time saving, chair time, total appointment time, shorter healing time, predictable treatment. If you want to purchase one laser machine enabled to use hard tissue and soft tissue, you can choose ELEC laser. But practically, most of your treatment are not related to hard tissue, but related to soft tissue. 
That's why shield laser is the most practical and realistic option for your business. The shield laser is the most practical and effective laser for soft tissue treatment because it shows excellent effects in incision, vaporization, and coagulation. Thank you for your watching video.